As we first told you on Sunday, running back Greg Bryant Jr. was declared brain dead. That happened yesterday. Police in West Palm Beach, Florida, are now calling the investigation a homicide. Here in Birmingham, people at UAB are remembering the standout athlete. CBS 42 News reporter Alex Finney live for us tonight on the UAB campus. And Alex, you spoke with Bryant's roommate. He was one of the last people to see him before he went down to Florida. You're exactly right, Jim. This whole story is just extremely heartbreaking. His roommate, who's also his teammate, tells me that Greg went home to see his grandmother and his mom on Mother's Day, two people that I'm told he's extremely close to. A Facebook post of Greg Bryant and his mom. In the caption, he mentions how close they were, so much so that according to his teammates, he flew home to Florida just to surprise her on Mother's Day. He's one of a kind type dude, you know, you're never, you're never going to get another GB. GB was what his roommate and teammate Stacy Keeley called him. The news was a complete shock. I was actually uh, in my dorm room. I woke up, had a couple missed calls, few text messages, and, and then uh, it was in there, actually in a group chat, a group message from the team that was sent out. And uh, when we seen it, we just, like I said, we're just like, whoa, like this can't be happening. It's crazy. Everything unfolded around 345 Saturday morning. Bryant was found shot inside a car in West Palm Beach and was taken to the hospital. Keeley and the rest of the football team woke up to the news on Sunday. And we were literally just with them like a week ago talking about the return 2017 and what we're going to do coming up this season and everything. So it kind of it hit us pretty hard. A return that Bryant was energized about. He recently transferred to UAB from Notre Dame, calling this team his second chance. Just a lot of sadness that we lost a student that had a promising future in athletes and also in college and life. GB is GB. Everybody knows GB. Now, according to our sister station in West Palm Beach, Florida, the family is expected to make a statement tonight. Now, as soon as we do get those remarks, we'll be sure to bring them to you right here. For now, live in Birmingham, Alex Finney, CBS 42 News. Now, CBS 42 has been following the investigation into the shooting of Greg Bryant Jr. since the news broke early Saturday morning. You can see all of our coverage, including that statement from his family. We're expecting that happening later tonight, and you'll be able to see that on our website at WIAT.com.